Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the main doors to my left. No further words are necessary. As we gather on this day, 
We offer up our deepest gratitude for this second chance of life for Kyle. May he embrace every moment with reverence, joy, and gratitude. Finally, Lord, we ask that you provide safety and protection for all members of the Scranton Police Department who fearlessly protect and serve the citizens of Scranton. Forever grateful for your miraculous gift, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please welcome Chief of Police Thomas Carroll. Good afternoon. This is amazing. This shot is the show is just amazing. Thank you all for coming. I am always amazed when law enforcement rallies for their own. They show up in force for solidarity. Unfortunately, a crowd of police this size usually means an officer's been killed in the line of duty. Not today. Today Today we gather to celebrate the homecoming of a strong man who defied the odds. An officer of the law with selfless dedication to this very noble profession. This gathering is informal. A mere couple hours of notification in this turnout is magnificent. I felt it was important to add two elements. The National Anthem and a prayer. The National Anthem symbolizes our pride for our nation and our community and represents our daily efforts to defend our freedoms and our way of life. The prayer, no doubt many prayers were answered and we continue to pray that we will not have to endure such a tragedy ever again. I'd like to point out that this is also the homecoming of a very courageous woman who never left her husband Kyle's side, Lindsay Gilmore. <laughs> Great job, Lindsay. We are so happy that your family is reunited. Our family's reunited. And now, I'm about to do something I never thought possible seven weeks ago. Please help me welcome a true crime fighter and a guardian of our community, Detective Kyle Gilmart. hero of the situation. The police officers I was with that night, the medical staff, my surgeons at guys at your CMC, and the nurses and therapists at Moss Rehab outside of Philadelphia are the true heroes of the situation.
That night I was just an ordinary man who was placed in an extraordinary circumstance in which I faced evil and won due to the grace of God. My family and I are beyond proud of Northeastern Pennsylvania and how its people respond to this census tragedy. We thank you for the prayers which have worked as well as the donations which will be needed greatly in the future. If I can choose one thing to come from this, it will be that I will be the last victim of senseless violence. If you are a parent, you need to, talk, you do, need to be talking to your children. If information arises concerning a juvenile or irresponsible person being in possession of a firearm, it must be reported. T together we can all work, work and end youth gang violence. Let's all work together to steer our children to be looking up to positive role models. Thank you for this time and allowing me to speak. God bless you all, and my family loves you. Scranton Police Department and Detective Kyle Gilmartin, we thank you all for coming and that con concludes our event today. Thank you. Thank you. 